In this video, we are going to learn what are quadratic equations. Any equation of degree 2 and in one variable is called a quadratic equation. The standard or the general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now, it's very important to note that a, b and c are all real numbers and a is not equal to 0. This is a very very important condition. The minute a becomes 0, this does not remain a quadratic equation. It will become a linear equation. So, a quadratic equation is an equation whose standard form and or the general form is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where over here x is the variable instead of x we can have y, we can have z, we can have p or q but a, b and c are numbers a cannot be equal to 0 but b and c can be 0 a could be positive, negative but not 0. B and C could be positive, negative. So let us determine if the following equations are quadratic or not. And if quadratic, let's write them in the standard form and find the values of A, B and C. So here's the first one. 5x square minus 7x plus 1 is equal to 0. So as we can see, there is only one variable, which is x. And 5x square, so the coefficient of x square is 5, which is not 0. So this is a quadratic equation. And this is already in the standard form. So we can say that the value of a is 5, the value of b is minus 7, and the value of c is 1. So in simple words, whatever number is written before x square, so over here is 5, so that's the value of a, whatever is written before x, so including that minus sign, the value of b is negative 7, and whatever is the constant term, which does not have any variable, and over here it's 1, in fact it's positive 1, so also we should take into consideration the plus sign. So this is a quadratic equation, and it's already in the standard form. And the value of a, b, and c are 5, minus 7, and 1. Let's go to another one. 3y square minus 11 is equal to 0. We can rewrite this as 3y square plus 0y minus 11 is equal to 0. As we see that we have y square, but we do not have y, and we directly have a constant. So we can put a coefficient of 0 before y. Both these equations are one and the same. But this is more in a standard form or general form. So whenever there is a missing y or missing x, we can put a 0. So the value of a will become 3, which is the coefficient of y squared. The value of b is 0. And the value of c is minus 11 which is the constant. Let's have a look at another one. p square plus 5p is equal to 0. We see that there is a missing constant term. So we can rewrite this as p square plus 5p plus 0 is equal to 0. So this 0 is the value of c. So over here the value of a is 1 because if nothing is written before p square, it means that the coefficient is 1 by default. The value of b is positive 5. Always take into consideration the sign. So the value of b is 5. And the value of c is 0, which is the missing constant term. So this is also a quadratic equation. Let us look at the next one. z minus 7 upon z is equal to 4z plus 5. We can see that this is not in a standard form. Whether it's a quadratic equation or not, it's secondary. So first of all, let us write this in a standard form. It means we should write it 
every, everything on the left hand side. So for that we need to get rid of this denominator. In order to get rid of the denominator we can multiply z on both sides. So we'll multiply z on both sides of the equation. So this will become z into z minus 7 upon z into z this is equal to 4z into z plus 5 into z. So each and every term is being multiplied by z. So we have z into z is z square minus this z and this z cancels. So we have 7 is equal to 4. z into z is z square plus 5 into z is 5z. Now it's very important that we bring everyone on one side. Either on the left hand side or the right hand side. If we compare the coefficients of z square, the coefficient over here is 4 and the coefficient over here by default is 1. So we'll take this, so we'll take this z square on that side, we'll take this negative 7 on that side. So we have 0 is equal to 4z square minus 1z square, which we have taken from the left side to the right side, plus 5z as it is, and plus 7. The minus 7 becomes plus 7 on the other side. And nothing remains over here, so a 0 remains over here. We can rewrite this as, that is, 4z minus 1z is 3z square, 4z square minus 1z square is 3z square, plus 5z plus 7 is equal to 0. So we can see that this is uh, the standard form of the quadratic equation. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. In this case it's az square plus bz plus c is equal to 0. So we can have the value of a as 3, the value of b as 5, and the value of c as 7. So this is also a quadratic equation. Let's have a look at the other one. 3y square minus 7 is equal to root 3y. So we'll take this root 3y on this side. So we have 3y square minus square root of 3y minus 7 is equal to 0. So we see that it has one variable which is y and the coefficient of y square is 3 and not 0. So this is also a quadratic equation. Yes, root 3 is an irrational number, but still it's a real number. So the coefficients a, b and c, they are to be a real, a real numbers. So the value of a is 3 over here. The value of b is negative root 3. Remember the negative sign. And the value of c is minus 7. So, this is also a quadratic equation. Let's have a look at the other one. Q square plus 5Q is equal to Q square plus 8. So, let's bring everyone on one side. So, we have Q square minus Q square plus 5Q as it is and minus 8. Plus 8 becomes minus 8. This is equal to 0. But over here we see that q square minus q square is 0 q square or it simply cancels. Or we can write 0 q square plus 5q minus 8 is equal to 0. Now over here there is only one variable that is q but the coefficient of that variable is 0. So this is not a quadratic equation because we can simply ignore uh, 0 q square and this becomes 5q minus 8 is equal to 0. So this is not a quadratic equation. In fact, this is a linear equation. So we do not have to write the values of a, b, and c. Let's look at the other one. y minus 2 multiplied by y plus 2 is equal to 0. So we know this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. And we know the formula is a square minus b square. 
So we can rewrite this as y minus 2 into y plus 2 is y square minus 2 square is equal to 0. Or alternatively, we can also use foil. So first we can multiply y and y, y square. Then we can have uh, y into 2, that is 2y. Then we can have minus 2 into y, which is minus 2y. And then we can have minus 2 into 2, which is minus 4. And then you can see that minus 2y plus 2y cancels. So we will have this. So y square minus 4 is equal to 0. The square of 2 is 4. So um, this is a called equation because the degree is 2. This is the degree and the degree is 2. And the coefficient of y square is 1, not 0. So we can rewrite this in standard form as 1y square plus 0y, the y is missing over here, minus 4, which is the constant, is equal to 0. So over here, the value of a is 1, the value of b is 0, and the value of c is negative 4. So this is a part equation, and these are the values of a, b, and c. Let's have a look at the last one m square plus 5 the whole upon m square is equal to minus 3. So we can multiply or simply cross multiply m square because it's whole upon m square or we can multiply m square on both sides. So we'll have m square plus 5 is equal to negative 3 m square. That's the cross multiplication or we can multiply m square on both sides. Then we can take this negative 3 m square on this side. So we'll have m square plus 3m square plus 5 is equal to 0. So m square plus 3m square is 4m square plus 5 is equal to 0. Always take like terms together. So this is also called an equation and m is the missing term. So we can rewrite this as 4m square plus 0m plus the constant 5 is equal to 0. So here uh, the values of a, b and c are a is equal to 4. That's the coefficient of m square. The value of b is 0. That's the coefficient of m. And the value of c is 5. I hope you understood this video.